TikTok is an app that is extremely popular with the Zoomers. So popular that even YouTube is trying to change the way that the website functions by pushing shorts. And they're pushing it quite aggressively, specifically to target the younger audience. Uh, but unfortunately, TikTok uh, has two major problems. It, it had them since the inception. Uh, the first problem is the type of content that is on the platform. Uh, it is content that is very extremist in nature, uh, to the point where you have a Twitter account by the name of Libs of TikTok, who is taking clips from popular TikTokers and is putting them on Twitter just to horrify people with the content that their kids are seeing. And of course, the left is absolutely outraged because of this practice, um, even though people are putting that content on TikTok willingly, and when she is taking it, she isn't editorializing or doing anything with it. Uh, the very fact that a spotlight is being cast on the most extreme version of wokeness, um, many people on the left wanted to get libs of TikTok canceled. So what type of content are we talking about? Well, you have morbidly obese people, um, some of which have even passed away today encouraging people in that lifestyle. So it goes way and beyond fat acceptance. It, it, it's like promoting of a lifestyle which increases diabetes, uh, gives you heart conditions, uh, increases the risk of a blood clot. And that's just part of it. You, you, you have all manners of perversions and degeneracy with young girls uh, performing extreme vulgar dances. And again, like this is what is being promoted to children. Um, and finally, you also have like the extremes of the woke ideology. You have school teachers that see a tomboy and they're like, oh, so I started encouraging them to transition, even though that was just a girl that was having the personality more akin to the gender stereotype of a boy that didn't show um, willingness to transition. And they do the same for uh, young boys as well who play with dolls or whatever. Uh, they call it cracking an egg. Like, like all of this is found on TikTok. Now, now you could say, well, this is what's popular in America. That This is just the type of content that exists. Uh, but the reality is that TikTok is, like most social medias, artificially generated. Um, the algorithm which promotes the content is being coded in as well as the algorithm which bans and suppresses the content is promoted in. Um, if I were to make a video debunking some of the more extreme takes on TikTok, I would get banned. And, and this is why TikTok is a de facto publisher. They get to decide which type of content is promoted and which type of content is being suppressed or not allowed on the platform at all. And the reason a lot of people are upset is that they've noticed if you go to TikTok China, which is basically changing your VPN so that it appears as if you're from the Chinese mainland and then you use TikTok, you get completely different videos promoted to you. You get wholesome content, how to get into carpentry and make a chair how to do basic math, how to do your taxes. You, you get all of these interesting videos that I bet Americans would wish that their kids would see. So it's a clear distinction between the type of content that is being served to the rest of the world versus the type of content that is being served in China. So this is the first problem with TikTok. The other problem with TikTok is that it's spyware. As many Chinese companies, the CCP does spy on people and it uses TikTok in order to harvest that information. Uh, whether or not they can use it for blackmail, who knows. Uh, but I want you to imagine the scenario where you have a young girl that's making some very vulgar dances on TikTok. And maybe 10 or 11 years in the future, she becomes a politician or she becomes someone influential. There is nothing to stop the Chinese government from having an anonymous phone call to her and say, hey, we have your videos that you uploaded 10 or 11 years ago. And uh, if you do not pass this legislation or if you do not do what we say, we can leak them to the press. This is how the Soviet Union used to operate. It would collect data on most citizens. And uh, everyone had the file, which was basically sitting there. And when they needed you to do something for the government, because you're in a position of power or maybe you were 
competing for a position of power, then they would go to your file and they look to see what's in it. And most people used to have something that was problematic in nature. Maybe they said something against the government. Maybe they said something that was politically incorrect. Or uh, maybe they did something that they were ashamed of, right? Something of a sexual nature that could be used against them. So this is one of the dangers of having the government spy in on people, right? And especially most uh, individuals using TikTok being Zoomers and, and being uh, young people, you don't know like what job they're going to have in the future, as well as the stupid stuff they do online. So this was concerning, right? The fact that the Chinese government is spying on people. Um, so, so these two things have been on the mind of Americans and, and other uh, nations who also have their kids using TikToks for years now. And, and the question has to be, why is it, why is it that now TikTok is uh, being discussed of being banned. And not only that, but you you have bipartisan agreement, right? So uh, the Republicans and the Democrats who are arguing over almost everything are now agreeing that, yeah, well, TikTok has to be banned. So is it about the American people? Is this, is this what the American people suddenly want? No, apparently this is what uh, Jewish NGOs want. It's not just the ADL, but as you can see here in this article, the Jewish Federations of North America asked a U.S. Congressional Committee to approve a bill that would allow the president to ban TikTok or force its China-based company to sell it. Social media is a major driver of the rise of anti-Semitism. So what is it about? Well, since the conflict in in the Middle East has started, on TikTok, most of the support has been towards Gaza. Uh, I think uh, someone made a study on it and it was around 70%. This is much higher than any other platform. It's definitely much higher than Twitch. It's much higher than Google, so YouTube. Um, I, I would say it is even higher than X. X also has a high percentage of left-wing people as well as right-wing people supporting Gaza. And it's a problem, right? So, so the far-left woke indoctrination, the, the most extreme radical stuff that TikTok was pushing up till now, that's fine. No, that, that's okay. That, that's no problem at all. The Chinese government spying on people, I mean, I guess that's kind of bad, but, but again, it wasn't the problem. No, the problem is this. Now they're talking about banning it. So, so it goes to show what the politicians really care about. And the answer is the NGOs rather than the people that vote for them. Because the people that vote for them have been asking for this ban for a while. Uh, now, the thing is that the ban doesn't just focus on TikTok. As many people have posted on the internet, this is another power grab from the US government. And they will have the right to, to censor other platforms if they so desire. Um, I do believe they can even censor X. Someone did a reading of the the law and uh, the initial draft, unless they changed it, would have allowed for them to, to even ban X or other platforms that they find to be inconveniencing. Again, uh, back in uh, 2010, I remember the internet was laughing at China for having the great firewall of China. And it's like how... Um, American websites do not get to be promoted in China. And everyone was saying, well, this is ridiculous because the internet is what brings humanity together, um, so on and so forth. But now we are moving towards uh, a timeline where, yeah, every, every single country is going to try to have its own internet, to, to have its own version of the truth, which comes from the government. Uh, and everything else that's outside it is going to get blocked or banned. Um, I really liked the era of 2010 internet. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think we're ever going to go back to that. Um, and we are moving more towards censorship. Uh, as for the idea that, well, the Chinese government is controlling TikTok, that is true. But take into account that American companies are also controlled by the American government. Uh, the FBI, the Homeland Security... Uh, the Department of Justice, uh, recently it has come out and it's public knowledge that they collaborate with the social media platforms, uh, not only to just set policy on the platforms, but also to gather data and information. Uh, if you don't believe me, read the leaked Twitter files and you get to see exactly the collaboration that happened at the time, which I assume that since then has only increased.
rather than decrease. So whether you're using TikTok or you're using Facebook, some government is spying on you. And of course, uh, most of the uh, American system is not just the government spying. It's also NGOs that have a right to say and to the type of political content that is being allowed to be discussed on these platforms. Um, so everything that you say, you're not saying it because you have a right to say it. You're saying it because you are allowed. And, uh, you know, the argument, well, my private company can do whatever it wants. Well, it turns out that my private company does what the NGOs and the government want. And they're the ones that are benefiting from this. Uh, with TikTok, they're not benefiting from this. So this is why they're outraged of its existence. If you notice, the current trend is to have American imperialism on the Internet, only American social media companies. Uh, let me know what you guys think. And as usual, I will see you in the comment section. Take care.